better get your tickets for that Nowhere Train Magical Mystery Tour. There's only a few planets left they're coming to. That line's going to be longer than an exploding Gores concert. What's this DCMC? Why are you always on about DCMC? Ah, they're so 2010X. Welcome back to Cognitive Dissonance. Previously, we hit up Jupiter and Mars. Because Mars had Starman things going on and there was a distress signal coming from Jupiter. Speaking of Mars, we're not done with Mars. We're not done with a few areas. There's still something on Jupiter yet, too. But if we go back to Daedalia on Mars, this is where the uh, Starman base used to be. They were experimenting on a Mr. Saturn. But it's nice and quiet here now. The bones can rest because we blew up their shiny. Which caused the entire base to have some kind of uh, explosive incident. Yep, it's wrecked now. But there's one thing left in the wreckage. Right here. A record we couldn't get before. A killer battle. I think that's the natural killer cyborg slash natural killer Saturn music. Which we heard a couple times so far already. Oh, and a few other things. This star pendant I got from Flash Zatbangs on Saturn. And... I still have an Apple of Clarity yet that I never used. I saw it during one of my videos. There it is. I must have had it from Neptune. Uh, I, I forget who I gave it to, so I'm going to give it to Aluminavar. Aluminavar. Yeah, th that's his name now. That's his full name. Wrap your brains around that. Also, if there's a random enemy on Jupiter, it, it hangs out with the demonic petunia. It has no sprite. It's called uh, the... Pinaco nut. It's a pineapple dude with, with glasses and a watch. He's a rare enemy. He's not really worth a lot of EXP. I have no idea why that guy is there or why he's so rare. But I was leveling there for a while. You know what I need to do. This I'm gonna do it before we take off. I like this music, okay? I like this music. This is the best music. Don't make me go over there and turn on Megalovania, because I'll do it. Also, I turned my microphone back to regular because I just didn't like how it sounded. If this pops in the audio, there's going to be pops in the audio. I'm no voice actor. I'm not perfect. It's just sometimes I just give up on my OCD. That's Venus. We're not going there. We're going deep inside. The polar opposite of Pluto. Mercury. What is this? That's not a Fortnite barrier. Who put this up? No. Help us, please. Yep, barriers make that noise now. They learned this on Earth. Why are we at Mercury? No, I think you might be wrong about that, because why is Mercury existing? We can't teleport down to Mercury. We just get out. Yeah, we could breathe on Mercury, what of it? We're not gonna die in the heat. Wow, there, there really is nothing on Mercury. You know what, I'm kind of getting off vibes. You know, those purified worlds. Well, I have many more subscribers than I did back when I did off, so maybe you don't know off. Whenever you guys are feeling bored between videos, go familiarize yourself with off. That's a weird game in and of itself. You might see another reference to off soon. Anyway, this, this area is just like one small wrap. It keeps on taking us back to the ship. But there's things if you know where to look. There's always things. You think they would make a whole planet with nothing on it? Come on. Let's go northeast up here. I see some stuff. There's debris here. Someone was here. Or something. Either way, there's debris everywhere. And it's kind of triangulating around this rock. Oh! Look what I found! Secret base! You know it's secret because it has the zigzaggy stair trope. 
Yeah, kind of like in the end of Mother 3. Or, um, Delta Rune did this too, I think. No, wait, it was just one long staircase. Never mind. There's a fish going down here. And an abandoned base. Something tells me we're going to find some nifty stuff in here. Look at all of it. There's fish. There's water. Kind of reminds me... What the hell is that? Okay! This has gotten ominous already. I'm already freaked out. Thank you. There's something else in with the fish. Hey, wait a second. Mr. Saturns, what are you doing here? He's okay, but you got Mr. Sickos in there. You gotta tell the boss of this place in a hurry. And peanut cheese bars. Whoa! There's ten of them! That's a feast! So what about these Mr. Sickos? Can't fight them. They could jump a little bit. Mr. Saturns! Class 2 Sentient! You mean Sapien. Saturnians! They have Psy powers, but they're not really a threat. They just go boing. They mostly eat wafers and gelatinous objects, like peanut cheese bars. Actually, I have my mother recipe list. I can make peanut cheese bars. Oh, so that's how they do things without arms. And also their noses wiggle when they do it. If their nose is wiggling like crazy, you might look out for, like, robot parts flying around. They'll hit you in the head. You'll see you boing after that. Why are they keeping Mr. Saturns here? Unless one of them got out. We should warn somebody about that. It's an air puff. Class 2 non-sentient. You mean sapient now. If it's not sentient, then it's a plant. It could express mental energy with wind gusts. And they're kind of sort of like plants, but they could also absorb nutrients from the atmosphere. So, make sure they're contained, even when they're not contained. Or they'll suck the nutrients right out of ya. I think that's how it works. So, what is this? Some kind of, like, solar zoo? Where should we go from here? This is a big area that loops on itself. Ah, uh, Let's go down from the Saturns and the Air Puffs. Surely this place will loop eventually. I'm waiting for that creepy thing to show back up. You saw it. It looked like an aqua geek. Don't tell me they know how to swim now. Arboreal Combustion Syndrome. It'll cut you wide open. Don't mess with Elder Oaks. That's a PSA. wonder what's in here. It's a Tangu. Class one non-sapient! Sapient! Come on! You're a scientist! They're in a constant state of peace and tranquility. Yeah, do they just appear randomly? And they like making other creatures high! Okay! They wouldn't hang out great with the pig snouts. Even though I think the pig snouts have left ship. We got this robot dude down here. He's a shop. He sells some good things here. It, as you can tell, I have lots more bow bucks because I finally cleaned out my inventory. Let's spend it on brain food lunches. The rest of the stuff we don't really need. Maybe some more life noodles. Life noodles will come in handy. And there's that number again. Oh boy. So you might not know it, but we're left of the entrance now. We've already looped. Wait a second, what are you guys doing in there? Oh, they've been exposed to those Tangoos, weren't they? They don't know what's what. We got red, green, and blue. Now we could have some Pokemon. Mooks! Class 2 Sapient! Species. Highly psionic. Especially since they share a planet with Saturn. With the Saturns. 
Every mook has Psy. They also have limbs to whack you with. But mostly they use their Psy for like sport and warfare. Like the Rock Wars. Uh, these uh, hyperpods do work. I was just checking if I needed the healing. Maybe we shouldn't be sleeping in a place like this though. It's a little weird. So now where to go? If we go up those stairs, we'll uh, be leaving. So where should we go from here? And we should go down to the shop and check out that area. Lots of diagonals, but this game doesn't handle the diagonals very well. Hit them at the right angle, the party starts getting messed up. Let's head off to the right this way. Yeah, I think there's things over here. Like if we go up these stairs. There's mysteries abound in this place. Yes, mysteries abound! can't solve this puzzle just yet. We need to do other things. Even though it's not explicit. I just noticed because I'm psychic. Please don't put me in the stellar zoo for the psychic chocobo. Psychic chocobo should be free. I, I don't understand. What is this creature? This weird creature. I'm pretty sure it's non-sapient. It's a land predator from Earth. Human beings keep them in their homes. Actually, I think that's the other way around. It makes a purring sound. Humans like it. And then they do goofy things that humans put them on videos for. It's called a, um... Kate? Cat? We just call it a cat for right now. Yeah, that makes it simpler. Haven't seen that Aqua Geek and I'm happy. Alright, that's the Air Puff exhibit. So see, we could have went to Cats, but we went to the right instead. So this place is already looping. Um, yeah, we're done with east of the shop. Let's go to the... Let's go to the west. There might be some good things over here. There's a ladder heading down, but I don't want to miss a thing. Let's see what's over in this direction. Trees is over in that direction. We must go down the stairs. I wonder what these weird plants are, and I wonder if they explode too. Another dead end. Man, there sure is a lot of plants in this area, isn't there? I'd be worried about some kind of infestation. This thing's all alone. The last of its kind. The angry palm. Look at the little lines on top of it. It looks like it's really miffed. Ah, uh, uh, one of those Kates got out. Hi. I don't know why I'm saying hi to a Kate, because they're not sentient, apparently. Apparently they're not aware of their surroundings. That's what sentient means. I'm gonna yell at the person that runs this place whenever I find him. I don't know where he is. I think we've been here. Something tells me we've been here. Yep, we've been here. The trees are exploding. That's the Tangu exhibit. There's nothing there. Oh, there it is again! Why? What are you? Why are you? Who are you? Is he the one that runs this place? Is he like a collector? I mean, that would fit the sci-fi trope pretty well. Diagnostics on all the fish tanks, especially that thing! Spooky. Oh, this is some new stuff. There it is again! Mewtwo, you have a movie to go to! A couple of them, actually. I know, Team Rocket runs this place. This is where they're working on the Mewtwo. That's where the Mewtwo is staying. Maybe that's where the Mew genetics is happening. The Mew genetics, get it? Eh, uh, I should come back to this room a little bit later. You know what? I have a feeling we might be going off to the right anyway. 
I knew it. There's a ghost in the machine. Nope. I can't do it. You're a ghost. So I was wrong. This is the Ghostbusters headquarters. Transport hatch control. Release the ghost. <laughs> the thing bloomed up there. I wonder what that could have meant. Now, you might think that, like, everything gets released. Like Mewtwo in there. No. There's, um, there's some other things. Actually, there's only one hatch in this entire area that gets unlocked by doing that. And it really doesn't tell you about it. We have to head back up to that mystery room. I think this is the right way to go. Past the Kate. Seems pretty harmless. It's not really doing much of anything. It's just like hanging out. Really. That's all it's doing. Pretty harmless. I mean, it's not sentient after all. Probably has no idea what it's doing here if it's even alive. Right? I, I'm getting something psychic. It tells me four, two, three, one. I did it! I am psychic! Is that psychic powers? You want me to fall down a hole? I, I don't think I want to do that. Why did I do that? Psychic powers, you betrayed me! Who the heck are you? Yeah, hi. It's another geek type person. He's been hiding out on Mercury. Well, how about that dude swimming around in the fish tank? He's kind of an aberration, too. This person's been watching the solar system. Okay, that means you're an ally, right? That's very science of you to stay not involved. Well, I guess there's that. So he's a peaceful scientist. How about letting us out of here? Well, don't thank the humans too much. Don't give them too many credits. Well, you know, if you keep us in here, then nobody will still know you're not down here. So, this is a friendly sort of dude. The tank is empty. It was empty. Well, it was full. Of many different kinds of subjects. Hmm, this sounds like it might be about the Gargiathan. Or the Gargiathan. That's a better way to pronounce it. And a Reboot Orb! Reboot Orb number two! We need many more of those. Okay, cool. We'll just see you there. Hopefully Mewtwo doesn't attack us. This is all leading up to a Mewtwo Strikes Back back. Strikes Back twice. He's that vindictive. What the heck that geek thing was? Was that him? Was he just having a swim? Because he was like glowy eyeing at us. And, and that's not a good thing to get glowy eyed at. Well, there's one last place we haven't went. It's over here. All the plants in the lab. There sure are a lot of those, aren't there? Maybe that's the way he likes it. Maybe they're producing the oxygen he needs to breathe. If he even breathes oxygen. I mean, these aliens went to Earth. I guess they breathe some oxygen. Maybe they got lightheaded on Earth. And there's a life pendant! I know the alien mask is great for Colonel Saturn's attack and defense, but this thing provides healing and anti-fire freeze. So, that's probably better for him in the long run. He'll get a constant healing. And this is the, the end! Okay, uh, what did you want us to see, anyway? It's the core of Mercury! I don't 
know if that's a great idea? Having the core open like that? Planet probably doesn't like it. It has incredible power. Earth Strength has power too. It might stop Geeg one day. So it's time to get a little bit of power from Mercury. The power of life up Omega! Now we go to all the different planets and get like broken Psy, right? We have to go to the core. I intend on abusing it whenever I can. Oh, that's very nice of you. I don't want my memory erased. Yeah, sure, why not? Well, I kind of already got that exploring in. I pretty much looted the place. See you later, weird geek person. I never got his name. I guess we could just call him Scientist. Well, at least we got Life Up Omega. So we could walk our way out of this place, or we can teleport. The recall has kind of been disabled this whole time until just now. But once we recall, we can't come back. So make sure you get the Reboot Orb. Make sure you get the Life Up Omega. Make sure you get the Life Pendant. Make sure you see the weird geek fish thing. Because we can't do that anymore. Hey, New, I met somebody down there. She? Ooh. New has a girlfriend. <laughs> oh, that was fun. I guess it's time to burn to death now, because next is Venus. And luckily we have air conditioning. Good night, folks. <laughs>